Hey everybody, I'm Jason. You're watching Jason Holmes and we are at Seiko 2-2 at Stone Mountain, Georgia, right outside Atlanta, Georgia. We are going to take a look at some absolutely gorgeous homes today. The show's going on. Stay tuned because we're about to jump right in. As promised, guys, we're gonna take a look at this gorgeous blue 16 wide, 16 by 64 single wide by Legacy Homes. Hey, they're a company right here out of Georgia. They've been in the game since about 2008. We're gonna slip inside and take a look at this thing. I just want you to look at this two bedroom park model. Man, this thing has got some of the neatest siding on it. And I'm gonna give you guys a look at that really quickly but first let's pop inside and just take a quick look around then we'll look at some of the details legacy housing guys this is a super cute little two bedroom we're going to slip inside here and see what this thing has to offer take a look at this one of the things that i really like about this particular floor plan and the way this house is laid out is it's got the vaulted ceilings, which really makes this thing look so much wider. When I came in, I actually thought this was an 18 wide, but it's not, it's a 16 wide. Look at this gorgeous kitchen. Look at this deal here. Solid surface flooring throughout the home. So if you've got pets, you've got kids, Keeping that clean is so much easier, so much better than carpet. In my opinion, I'm not a big fan of carpeted floors, but that's just me. You may enjoy that. We're slipping back here. This is the, this is the second bedroom. This is the guest room. This is the kids' room or whatever. And I just want you to take a look at this. Plenty of storage space there. Lovely, lovely. Little 16 by 64 by Legacy Homes. Look at this, we'll check out the bathroom here. Take a peek right here. Fiberglass surround tub. Look at this, I love the fact that this thing has, has the wand. I love this. This is awesome. I really, really like it. Especially, once again, if you have pets, you can get down there in the tub and you can wash off Fido. If that's what you need to do. Whoa, hey, look at this deal. All righty. Get this back on my hair. All right. Let's spin around and take a look at... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, got my, I got myself confused. This is actually a three-bedroom, two-bath. Ah, geez, okay. Whatever, Jason. Get it together. Here we go. A little bit of specs on this one. Taller, wider, and better. That's the story of my life. The wider part, I've got that part handled. I don't know about the taller part. Better, maybe? I don't know, you guys be the judge. You're watching this content. Let me know what you like about it. I was speaking with one of their, one of their factory reps here earlier and they were telling me they're doing all of their cabinetry in-house. And as you guys know, if you watch any of the, sh of the videos that we put out, I am a big, big fan of quality cabinetry in manufactured homes. And I gotta be honest with you guys, the quality of the cabinetry has improved so much over the years that it's not even, you know, it's not even an issue anymore. Manufactured homes used to have Sort of a bad reputation, not sort of a bad reputation, a really bad reputation when it came to the quality of cabinetry. And that's just not the case anymore. I love these uh, gray cabinets. I love the dark appliance package that they've got in this one. Stainless steel sink, looking great. Let's slip on back here to the master. Now this is also one of the things that we see happening a lot in floor plans now is the parent area. Um, the master suite is on one end of the house and then the other bedrooms are on the other end of the house just to kind of separate, give a little space for mom and dad. 
away from the kids and the noise that might be coming from that end of the house. Just like that. Peek in here, take a look at the bathroom in the master area. Basically the same fiberglass surround that we saw in the other. Sink and vanity. And as I pointed out earlier, we've got the same solid surface flooring throughout here, just like that. And here is obviously the utility space, space for a washer and dryer. This is a park model, so we're talking about economy of space here. They're packing a lot of good stuff into a rather small footprint. Let's pop outside and take a look at the siding, which I think you guys are going to like. All right, take a look at this gorgeous blue siding with the white lineals around the windows. Look, I really like this offset, guys. I just like that craftsman look that that gives it. Gorgeous blue siding. Now, here's the thing, guys. This is a hard siding. Let me swing around here to the end so we can take a look at this. This is a hard siding, and you use just regular exterior residential house paint on this. Uh, Legacy's gonna give you the paint codes on this if you decide to, to become a homeowner with them. They're gonna give you the paint codes. Uh, you know, all siding is, uh, you know, it's, it's not a permanent thing. It's gonna weather, it's gonna age over time. But the cool thing about this is, um, not only is it hard, right? Not only is it durable, you know, if you need to put, um, you know, a mailbox or security cameras or whatever, uh, you can do that. Then when you're done, you just caulk over the hole, you repaint it and you're good to go unlike vinyl siding, which is gonna cause you some problems where that's concerned. If you wanted to repaint your home, if you wanted to have a different color, uh, you can simply do that as well. So hard siding options are definitely um, something to consider when you're looking at a new home. Give us a look right over here. Um, again, this is something that we see as almost as standard with new modern manufactured homes, and that's vinyl clad aluminum windows. Now what that means is the vinyl cladding prevents conduction. And what conduction is, is when the temperature inside and outside the house are different, okay? So just take as winter as an example. It's gonna be way colder outside than it is on the inside. And if that was just a bare metal window, it would allow that temperature to conduct through the metal. The vinyl cladding uh, reduces that. Just makes it a bit more energy efficient window. Speaking of energy efficient, all of our windows that we see today in, in modern manufactured housing have low E glass, and low E means that it allows the warm rays from the sun in the winter time to pass through the glass while blocking a lot of those warm, hot rays in the summertime. Just makes it more efficient, cuts down on the old electricity bill. I really like the siding that's going on on this one. Um, scoot right along here. Obviously this one is a park model, so we're gonna have the Exterior outlet is going to be on the outside of the home as well as the window orientation. And I don't know if you guys are aware or not, but typically on park models, we're going to go around here where the generator is, so you're going to hear a little bit of noise, but that's okay. I want to show you the back of the home. The back of the home, because this would be in a park lined up with other homes, you're not going to have many windows back here because the last thing you want to do really, you know, is be looking into your neighbor's uh, kitchen window or bedroom window or whatever. So a lot of park models we see these days have got different window configurations. Now, if you were going to put this home on your own property, uh, they have some different options that will allow you to have windows put, uh, you know, in some different places. But this one being a park model, the windows are gonna be mostly on the front facing side. I'm gonna walk around the corner and show you guys one more thing here. Air conditioning on this one, and I really like seeing this. 
These are called mini splits. And, and I really, you know, my wife and I, we do humanitarian and mission work in the Caribbean, in the Dominican Republic. And we see this as an air conditioning option in other countries quite often. You don't see, um, you know, the units that sit outside on a cement pad like we have in the United States. You don't see that very often in other places. So these little mini split deals are becoming much more popular in the United States. And I like that because um, I think they're less expensive. Uh, I think they're more durable. If you need to replace parts, you have the options of replacing, um, you don't have to replace the whole thing. So I, I really like seeing this. And in reading their literature from Legacy Homes, these come installed on your part model. So these things are gonna be plugged in, hooked up, and ready to go. So guys, this is Jason Collins. You're watching Chasing Homes. And as always, if you like the content, if you like what we're producing, uh, you know, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps us out. Um, you know, hit that notification bell so you know when we're producing more content like this. If there's something that you would like to see, you wanna see more park models like this, you wanna see super nice double wides, let us know what you wanna see and we'll put that content together for you guys because we're doing this for you and we certainly hope that you enjoy it. I'll catch you next time.